The tragic case of 22-year-old Drew Shadeen. This is part two. Part one will be tagged below. At this point, it's 11 o'clock at night and the Columbia Mall is closed. All of the shoppers and employees have gone home. The only ones who were there were the security guards. But as the police officer who was searching for Drew approached the mall, he spotted a lone car in the parking lot, just a few feet away from the entrance of J.C. Penney's. This car belonged to Drew, but Drew was nowhere to be found. As Lieutenant Don neared the car, he noticed that there was nothing off about it initially. There was no broken glass, no scuff marks, no scrapes. But the one thing that he did notice is that the car was unlocked. He began to look inside to see if there was any clues that would lead him to the whereabouts of Drew. But the only objects that were in the car were relatively normal. They were things like food wrappers and some of Drew's clothes. But as he closed the driver's door and was about to leave, he noticed something. This was a black knife sheath. And that was the moment that he realized something was seriously wrong. This wasn't just a college girl who didn't tell her roommate where she was going and wanted to spend some alone time.